Okay, uh, Richard here with uh, Danzig Corridor and Deductor's Mod. Uh, what did I do? I sold a bunch of things and I bought a Panzer II. And I bought a 15 centimeter gun. And then I'll show you a new way to play this map. It's much easier if you have an SE infantry, but I think it's still possible without. Uh, so the idea is we're going to kind of crush them from the north and the extreme south and just kind of stay back in the middle and exploit uh, and exploit this bridgehead to cause a faster collapse of the army. And then these auxiliary units are absolutely key. We need to keep them contained on these bridges. Uh, and then we're going to suddenly break through and, and, and bad things happen. And then we're going to try some shenanigans down here to also collapse the offensive firepower. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, you can go there. I will send my... <clears throat> I'll send my more... Mm, yeah, I'll send the 10.5 to help with that. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, what was I thinking? Oh, uh, the 15 centimeter is going to go in the middle. Put that here, I guess. Uh, the reason for that is it helps deter tanks. Mountain units. We're going to put a lot of our anti-tank stuff in the middle and hope that works. Okay, that's my deployment down four core unit slots. Uh, how bad is bad weather? I don't know if it's that bad. I can purchase my scout. And then you're gonna watch some of the fun shenanigans I get up to with that. Uh, what was I doing? You go here. You go here. Okay. And then... Get this guy. We need to make sure that the cavalry comes out of the city. Oh, I upgraded the Panzer 1A to a Panzer 1B. Okay, what was I gonna do? You go here to provide spotting so I can hit you. And the infantry will come up and hit it next turn. This infantry is going to clean this up. And this artillery and infantry will rejoin later, halfway through the battle. And hopefully that goes well. Provide spotting on everything. Uh, I've bought everything, right? Oh, uh... Yes, we'll put that there. So the key idea is we are going to boot this passive unit out as fast as we can. We're going to entice a chunk of the uh, army in this direction. And uh, we block this bridge so they can't flank us. But this guy has an important job to do on turn four. Okay, so now what do I do? Oh yeah, I think... You come here. I block that bridge. And then I have a mountain unit and artillery support coming in this region. What do I do with this guy? I don't remember. Oh, I think I, I take out the... I think it's important that I kill the cavalry. That's what I do. And the anti-tank can't do it, so... 
how do I, where do I put these guys again? the anti-tank there. Next turn, oh, I can provide spotting up here. Oh yeah, I use the fighter to help de-entrench, and it, any chip damage is really nice too. We need to boot him out fast, because I don't have a lot of support. You resupply. I don't have a lot of units, uh, probably resupply that. Yeah, so we can entice that tank out. And the Panzer II actually does pretty well. Uh, he made some modifications to it. Uh, what was it again? He gave it uh, three heart attack and four initiative. So backed up with a very powerful gun, it's got a chance against a tank like that. Um, That didn't do anything. I need to resupply. And you need to resupply. Okay. So this has three entrenchment. That was bad. Uh, and then we're going to move up. And we're going to force this unit to come out. And we actually got really lucky because we killed it. And then we block this. Uh, so potentially a surrender opportunity happens here. The real objective is to kill the uh, anti-aircraft gun. So uh, TKS tank is going to engage with you here. Uh, this is very difficult to deal with. And I can't use my air force. Not enough suppression to, to do that. And we're blocking access this way. A lot of the units are north. <clears throat> so we're going to sit and wait because there's not... Um, not a lot I can do about this because I don't have my air force ready. Oh, I forgot the the tank. Uh, actually, I forgot the cavalry had spotting on that. That was bad. Um, and it's raining. Oh, that was bad. Uh, I'll have to block it. I haven't had rain on this turn before, so decisive victory may be off the off the the map. I can't attack either. That's super bad. Let me see how this goes. I can try to kill this. Somebody will be baited. Um. <clears throat> oh, I could attack into this, but um, in the rain, if I were to look, rugged defense of 16% feels like a really bad idea. So we're... I don't know yet what I'm gonna do. Um, I'll just keep the plane around. That went well. And actually, that stopped the cavalry, which was not great. 
I'm delayed a turn because of the rain. Oh, but I can kick him out. That's good. And then I need to bring my artillery support over. Uh... And I... Is there another anti-tank here? There could be. I really want to take this out. So now... I really want to kill that cavalry too. The rain really screwed everything up. I can attack this now. Oh yeah, it's never not worked by the way. The odds say I only do four. <laughs> Every time I've play tested this, uh, I've always one shot it. <clears throat> That's the first time I even took damage, weirdly enough. So he, he's gonna, we're gonna clean this up and he's gonna come down and kill this and he can block this hex, which is very convenient. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I really need to kill this tank. Somehow. That's not good. I don't have a lot of ideas though. Let me see how this goes. Okay, so the tank is gone, but the operation down here is delayed by an extreme amount. Uh, there's more cavalry for sure. Um, and I don't know where it is. So we're going to back off. And maybe we can bait cavalry into attacking. And I don't know. Maybe I should go scouting with this. Okay, this cavalry sees that. And let's see what happens. And I hope the other cavalry can't hit me. Okay, I got lucky. Uh, there's another cavalry. Uh, you are dead. I have so few infantry. I would take more risk if I had an SE infantry, but I have so, so little that I don't want to. Okay. You need to resupply. Got him, okay. <laughs> so I can once again bait the AI. Uh... And do this. If he wants to attack my scout, which he, he might, uh, I have this artillery. Uh, this TKS tank is going to go in here. I don't know where the other cavalry is, but I don't see it in the area. So, this tank I should be able to bait out now. Oh no! That's so bad. Well, now I can do it, thanks to my scout. Uh, and I need to move you up. And I think, oh, that's where the cavalry is, so. One, two, three, four, five. He can't reach anything over here, one, two. Okay, he can reach a lot over here. The, the tank will come first. And I should hit it. Okay, that's good. And I will cover these guys. And this makes sure I can't get flanked. Uh, and then what? 
That's where the cavalry is. I think I want to try to de-entrench the uh, artillery, which can be annoying. And I also need to clear this anti-tank off so I can pull it in the back. This infantry can help clean this up as well. Okay, we got two baits that are going to happen. Oh, I forgot to move my... Oh, I had to move my mountain. Right. Why did the tank not move up? It's... That's very strange. Um... That's very strange. They can't see me. Uh, I need to kill this tank. And that went... This is very unusual. This is going, like insanely poorly here. Usually the mountain unit like completely cleans this guy up. Um, <clears throat> okay. And then my Stuka shot the bed. That's not good. <clears throat> The tank is going to come in. Like, the tank has to come in. Um... I'm going to retreat, because I don't know what he's going to do. And we need to move north. And try to collapse this. This is going very slowly. That rain turn was pretty bad. That, that was actually really, really bad and messed everything up. Plus, I've ran into a lot of rugged defenses and then extremely low rolls on some things. But that's kind of what happens with a lack of experience. So, why did this tank. There's another cavalry? Oh, well, I think I just lost a decisive victory here. There's another cavalry? And then I whiffed again? Where's my fighter? The g this is broken though. Um, because this TKS tank should be moving. I don't know why that they've never seen that before. <clears throat> okay. Um, so everything went to shit, basically. <clears throat> so I have to press the assault. <clears throat> Okay, that was very, very horrible. Two, three, four, five. <clears throat> cavalry will attack my artillery? But why did the cavalry not move? I don't understand the AI behavior here. Um.
<clears throat> yeah, I don't know what to do with this situation. <clears throat> Because there's a loose cavalry. Sitting back here. I got no help, huh? I think I have to keep pushing. That was very good. This is all very high risk. I think I want the cavalry. Infantry will move first, right? I'm gonna block this and make sure the infantry can't kill my anti-tank. And then what to do here? I don't know. This is very unusual. Oh, he attacked my infantry! That actually turned out okay. That's what I wanted you to do. My tank survived. Okay, I had to protect my units because I had to push. Okay, and then you can do this. It's okay. You are gone. I need to stoop. Oh, is it cloudy? No. Really? Spectacularly bad hits all around. Everything sucks. What? This is this is not what's supposed to happen, that is for sure. You can do that, and then he might attack the anti-tank, actually. Uh... It will confuse the AI and see what they see what it does with the cavalry. Damn. Oh, you went on the river hex. That's something we can work with. Where is my Stuka? Oh no, my Stuka's out. Yeah, this is Deductor's Mod. Things are very hard. to swing my artillery up because somebody has to deal with that. Attack! Okay, you're dead. You can grab that. And my anti-tank can go here. He'll be baited into attacking the artillery. Oh god. And we got lucky.
he's gonna hit me, which sucks. I can seize that if I need to. And he has a loose infantry floating around. Oh, that's useful. I survived. Okay, that's good. This guy is toothless now. Um, I guess I guess this artillery is actually useful. Um, I can block him, and if he wants to attack my tank, that is fine. <laughs> I can use this anti-tank here later. I mean, mountain units took a lot of damage, that was not part of the plan. So I think I'm going to have to, on the final two turns, uh, sacrifice the auxiliary units. Oh, I don't have an auxiliary unit to sacrifice. Well... This will be fun. The yeah, um, uh, yeah, you can do that. I still have to take this hex too. Okay, uh. You can sacrifice yourself. And then... That's not very good. <laughs> okay. Uh... I don't know. I need to be able to move him out, so let's attack. So I can get some artillery support. Okay, I got one more artillery. Two more artillery. Uh, we'll kill this, bomb this with the planes. I can sack auxiliary units on the final turn. Hopefully it's not rain. If it's rain, I can't get it decisive, I don't think. Oh, that was bad. I unblocked that hex. There are ways around that. You can go here. Oh no, but they blocked it. Okay.
for the best. Okay. That's scary. Hopefully one tank attacks this. Oh god. Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got a decisive victory <laughs> by the skin of my teeth. Uh, a rain turn and then incredible bad luck. Oh, I forgot to block this. But an incredible bad luck with this tank not going on this hex. I don't know what was going on with that. Uh, but somehow I squirmed through. That was a... Uh... I've never seen the AI behave like that on a map on this playthrough before. So, okay, I somehow survived. Oh god, I could really use an SE unit. That map is hard without an SE unit. Um, I didn't get one. This map, uh, this map is gonna be okay, because I'm gonna get an extra infantry. I'm gonna show you a cool trick that you can do that makes it easier. So, I'm gonna buy a cavalry, and you can see Prestige-wise, it's pretty scary, and I have to buy an 88 gun. Next scenario, I should have enough. Uh, but yeah, there was there was Danzig South with a ridiculous ending. Uh, I was I was I was I was barely ba I, I used all the tricks in the book and zone of control in the end to prevent the AI from seizing the bridgehead. That was uh. I don't know, man. That was. This is what it's gonna be like playing with all these restrictions. Uh, so anyway, let me know what you think.